Class of 2019, looking for an incredible free leadership opportunity this summer? Check out the Rotary Youth Leaders Award, or the RILA, conference at Messiah College this summer from June 10th to 14th. RILA provides leadership training for outstanding young men and women. The schedule includes various speakers, career seminars, a challenge course, team building activities, and much, much more. For more information about this free student leadership conference, be sure to check out the application in Schoology, or you can pick up one in the counseling office. Don't delay because initial paperwork needs to be submitted to the counseling office by April 5th. If you have any questions, please see your counselor ASAP. Just a reminder to, uh, to all freshmen about the Link Crew. Fun and relaxing activity is after school today in the cafe beginning at 245. There will be two large screens, Mario Kart games going on, as well as some relaxing yard games and snacks. This is a great way. <laughs> to ease into vacation, plus the uh, activity bus is running in case you need a ride. Hope to uh, see you guys there. I won't be there. Now, over to ADC with the news. And that's the way the news goes. Let's pop the effort up. Ronnie Jackson, the presidential doctor who gave the president his first medical examination in January, is most likely to replace David Shulkin, the current head of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, David Shulkin was reported to have engaged, engaged in certain corrupt and sketchy activities, including accepting tickets to the Wimbledon tournament while on a trip to Europe. On this day in 1973, the U.S. officially withdrew from Vietnam after signing the final peace treaties two months prior. America had been directly involved in Vietnam for eight years, but they had been indirectly aiding the South Vietnamese through uh, military advisors for decades beforehand. On March 29th, the last U.S. prisoners were released, and many South Vietnamese citizens fled the city of Saigon with them. The last few Americans still in South Vietnam were airlifted out of the country two years later on April 30th. Now over to Seth and I with the lunch. Since I moved the camera. Hopefully. <laughs> I love that pink suit. So happy. I know. I want to buy it. <laughs> I'm going to ask this bad if I can buy it. Who made it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tennis took on Lebanon. Boy, don't have a score. Big, uh, score. Boys lacrosse won against Lampeter Strasburg 14-10, and girls lacrosse lost at home versus Lampeter Strasburg. The Effender track and field team split with the Calico yesterday afternoon at the middle school track and field. The girls won handedly, 103 to 45, while the boys lost a close one, 68 to 82. Eli Bazenga led the boys team with three wins, while Jenny Young and Faith Hirschberger paced the Lady Mounds with two wins apiece. Saturday in sports, softball will be home versus Twin Valley. Now back to the main desk. This announcement is for any students who would like to learn more about the United States Naval Academy as a post-secondary college option. There will be a bus trip to visit the academy, which is located in Annapolis, Maryland, on Saturday, March 31st. The purpose of this trip is to give interested students and their parents an opportunity to see the academy firsthand, learn about the application and appointment process, and meet with local area high school graduates who are presently midshipmen at the academy. If you have an interest in serving your country as an officer, this is a great way to attend college for free, as a degree from the academy is estimated to be worth approximately $400,000 for the four-year program. Check out the information sheet on Schoology if you would like to learn more. Just a reminder to any 10th or 11th grade student who is interested in being a Link Crew leader next year. Online Link Crew leader applications are available through Schoology and are due by the end of the day Oi, please complete ASAP if you are interested. Attention, students of Ephraim High School. If you are interested in running for student council, I'm not, please stop down to Ms. Marzak's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. 
And since you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzoff in room 137. You need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only or your petition will be void. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you cannot ask Mr. Marzak, Mrs. Eshelman, or Senior Celery, or Senior Trullo, because they are the student council advisors. And don't talk to Russia. <laughs> Finally, a list of all eligible students running to be representatives will be sent out to the faculty for one last look-see, just to make sure all said students running are within good standing at the high school. And if everything goes well, which it probably will, elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. That means voting, people. So, stop down to see Mr. Marzak and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, April 13th. Any petition or teacher recommendation received after Friday, April 13th will not be accepted. So, stop down to see Mr. Marzok in room 137. And let's get this uh, show on the road. That's it for us today, Ephrata. Roll credits! Ethan. Yeah. Trivia question. Okay. How no. many counties are there in Delaware? Seventy-two. One. No. Two. No. How many? <laughs>